there's a new women's talk show giving women with conservative views a show of their own to watch. The Right View airs online every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's hosted by the president's daughter-in-law, Laura Trump, former Fox News host Kimberly Guilfoyle, Mercedes Schlapp, and Katrina Pearson. Joining us now to discuss the new show and what's going on right now all across the nation with the rioting and everything else, Laura Trump, co-host of the online show and a Trump 2020 senior advisor. So, Laura, what's the driving topic today that you're likely to talk about? Yeah, well, thank you guys, by the way, for talking about The Right View, and I heard you discussing it earlier. You're right, we felt like uh, The View, which many out there are familiar with, did not represent the views of all women in this country. Uh, so we decided let's put a show together ourselves, and we've had a lot of success with it. As you said, every Wednesday at 8 p.m., Team Trump Online. And look, we, we talk about what everybody in this country is talking about every week. So right now, uh, our focus is going to be what's happening in this country, the the peaceful protests that we see for George Floyd, for the death of George Floyd, and you know the people out there that are doing it the right way versus the folks out there that are looting, that are anarchists, that are um, arsonists, burning down buildings, whether it be small businesses or homes that people have all across this country. It is, it's scaring a lot of Americans. So we're addressing it. We're talking about it. We're talking about the job that the president actually has done, which has been fantastic, whether it's coronavirus or dealing Dealing with this situation, he's actually been out front. But if you watch a lot of TV, somehow they miss that point and don't give the president a lot of credit. So we're talking about all of it uh, as we do every week, and we would love to have everyone join us tonight at eight. Yeah, Laura, I was watching the show earlier. I love it. I think that it's great <laughs> to have uh, your a point of view because there really aren't any talk shows out there that are able to discuss the topics that you're talking about. And uh, how important is it to get the woman vote for, for this election? Because I know pretty much like half of Americans are women. Yeah, 52% of this country um, is comprised of the ladies. So obviously the women's vote is is huge. It's very, very important. And I remember in 2016, the way that we even started our coalition now that we call Women for Trump was it was really me just saying, look, I know that there are so many women out there that support Donald Trump and think he would be a great president. But for some reason, nobody's talking about it. So I got a group of women together in 2016. We took a bus all across this country. Now we have a, a formal coalition that it comprises tens of thousands of women across this country who've joined up. You can go to DonaldJTrump.com and join our coalition team. We would love to have you. We also have Black Voices for Trump, Latinos for Trump, so many different coalition teams. And uh, we're just really proud of the fact that we've been able to streamline our campaign, focus in on, on these great coalitions and involve people all across this country, whether it's men or women. Uh, but obviously the women for me has always been a big focus. You know, a lot of folks watch what happened with George Floyd. They think that was bad, that that should be addressed. But then they see the, the demonstrators come out, the peaceful ones, that's cool. But, but then people get violent. They, they loot, they riot, uh, and, and that's not a good thing. Now there's a controversy. What do you do to stop that, uh, to get tough, as the president was saying? And some people think that uh, U.S. armed forces should be used. And even the secretary of defense today saying he doesn't believe that should be the direction that we go. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, look, every person who saw what happened to George Floyd agrees what a horrific situation should never happen in the United States of America. And there, there is still a lot that we need to work on when it comes to race in this country. No one is denying that. And that's what these peaceful protesters are out there talking about. They want to be heard. They want us to address this as a country. And they're absolutely right. But then you have a few people in there, whether it's Antifa, which has now been designated by the president as a domestic terrorist organization, who are inciting violence everywhere, burning down buildings, destroying people's livelihoods and lives. It is, it's terrifying and it's not the way that it should be in this country. The, the thing that I think people need to remember is this is up to the local government to handle. This is up to the mayors and the governors of states 
It is not up to the federal government to control things in these cities unless, as you were just mentioning, they absolutely have to. So the first line of defense is the mayor. I, I live in New York City, guys. I mean, I know you get it. It's very hard when the mayor doesn't do the right thing, imposed an 11 p.m. curfew. The people are out super late. They go way past that. There are no repercussions. No one is stopping them from looting, from burning down buildings, because at the mayor's orders, uh, the police officers are being told to stand down a lot of times. They're not even allowed to arrest people for criminal acts. So it starts there at the very beginning. So I think the president has been right from the beginning. He's been urging the local government to crack down on these crimes. You cannot just let people run amok with no consequences in this country. Then you lose your country. Uh, so fortunately, Donald Trump has said, look, I don't want to have to step in. But if we have to step in, the National Guard is ready. And we have obviously our military resources ready as well. Laura, I know tonight you'll be talking about the protests. You'll be talking about the riots in Antifa. Anything else that you'll be talking about um, on your show? Yeah, well, look, there there also has been a lot of good that has happened because of this. I think one of the things that I want to share with people are some of these great videos that you see of law enforcement officers joining up with the peaceful protesters, walking alongside them, holding hands, saying, we're with you, hugging one another. This is America. And I think all Americans can agree we need to see more of that. So we talk about some really positive things. We're also talking about the SpaceX launch. Uh, what an incredible event that was for our country, the first time in a, a, about a decade uh, that we have sent a, an American aircraft into space or space shuttle into space with uh, astronauts on it. It's really incredible. So we're going to discuss that too, because we don't want to leave everything uh, negative and on a low note. We always try to perk things up at the end. So I know that come. really was cool. So true to see yeah. that. Take. It was like uh, going into uh, another universe. It's, oh yeah, I forgot some great stuff can happen too. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's true. It's uh, true. Laura, thank you so much for joining us and look forward to seeing the program tonight. You can catch Laura every Wednesday night on The Right View, streaming online.